Uh, I suppose in the late 60s, from the outside, the Moody's looked like everything was going swimmingly. And, uh, uh, and I, suppose it, I suppose it was, we were trundling along, having sort of slowly getting some success. But things within the group are really, um, were changing and the dynamic and the, you know, if there's that much testosterone in one automobile van, you know, things are going to get, to, going to get kind of hairy. And uh, uh, anyway, but people were sort of, people, some people's personalities were coming to the fore and others were diminishing. And that was staying right well out of that, of course. But uh, if you believe that, you believe anything. <laughs> but, uh, it, but it was changed, the dynamic within the group was changing. And it was to be resolved uh, a few years later. And I'm happy to say that right now, you know, it's a very happy group. But it, but it always was. It's just that people, you know, young people have... We did all our growing up within the Moody's. Anyway, during the 60s, late 60s, it looked like things were going great. But for me personally, it was kind of a dark uh, period. It was a bright blue period, I suppose. And the Grim Reaper was also circling my, my life and my family. And I know, you know, so many of you here have been through grief and you know what it's like. And I wrote a few things in that... Uh, in those, in those years, in those times, that I never really uh, understood, I suppose. They just came sort of straight from the heart. And uh, we're gonna do a couple of these things for you now, and I'm hoping by the end of this tour, I'll, no one on earth I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Two. One.
Say 